Hey there, Streakers. It is the end of a Saturday, and it has been a Saturday indeed. We started off this Saturday by reuniting with some friends of ours from Georgia. And it got me thinking a little bit about relationships. As I was thinking about relationships, I remembered a particular streak that someone had put together in the streaking app. And the streak was all about improving, increasing, maintaining relationships and reaching out to at least one friend, family member, close relative every day. And I thought to myself, what is it about relationships that is important for all of us? How come it is that we need to maintain relationships? As we met with our friends from Georgia today, it was effortless in regards to being able to come up with things to talk about, review what had been, what was since we left Georgia till today, and what they were going to be doing. Have you had friends like that where they're just easy to talk to, where it's effortless, where you're not second, guess, second guessing everything it is that you're thinking or saying, feeling or doing? As you consider this particular area of relationship, the question that I have for you is this, and it's similar to what I've already asked. What is it about a relationship that's important to you? And when I say relationship, I mean not only the close ones, but also the acquaintances. The relationships that may not immediately stick out as important. What about those relationships? How is it that you treat people and why do you treat them that way? As you consider all these things, I think back to all the different areas or, or times of my life. I think back to all the different times of my life and how important certain relationships were during certain times. I've fallen out of touch with a lot of people and I also envy those people who are able to maintain their relationships through time. As I look at today, my children, as they've grown up in a connected world, it seems to me that relationships are much easier to maintain if you want to. And why is that? Because you have technology, today's technology, which allows you to communicate and connect unlike anything before. One time I was traveling and I had come home, was riding the train from my gate to the main terminal. And I took a moment to look throughout all the train. As I looked up and down the row and the train was completely packed, most everyone had out their phone, head down, and they were communicating. And I thought to myself for just a second, some might say, you know what, this is really sad that all these people are writing right next to each other and not one of them is interacting with or communicating with each other. But then a second thought hit my mind. And that was most likely every single person on that train was texting someone that they loved that they were either safe from their flight to their destination or that they were home. This was something that I've never could do as a teenager or growing up even through college, but today it's commonplace. And we have this opportunity to be connected to one another in a way that we never had really been able to be connected before. This is significant. Why? Because relationships are critical to our existence. It's important that we work together, talk together, enjoy together. There's something about being connected that keeps us sane. You can watch any number of movies that show a particular individual one of the most famous ones, obviously, with Tom Hanks and the volleyball Wilson. As you look at that particular film, how he was stranded on a desert island for three years. And all he longed for was a relationship with his fiance, who he had left. And because he was alone on this island, stranded, cast away, he formed a friend with an inanimate object, a volleyball, but it was critical that he had that relationship. So with that being said, as you consider the different streaks that you might want in your life, connecting with someone in your family, close friend, or even work associate is critical to your mental health 
your stability, and your opportunity to succeed in life. Often I talk to my children about the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And that's actually not true because I know a lot of people who don't know me. And so it's not what you know or who you know, it's who knows you. And how are they gonna get to know you? They're gonna get to know you through you reaching out to them and sharing with them your life, your thoughts, your information. Now, can social media and reaching out to others have a detrimental impact on society? Absolutely. We've seen that it can because of either lies or people that want to make a name for themselves so they exaggerate the truth. They use hyperbole. They take out context in the story. Don't do that. Be real. Be transparent. Be the person that you can trust. In other words, you trust yourself as well as trusting those around you. When you form relationships, don't think of them as the opportunity to get yourself further, faster in life. Think of those opportunities to build, to lift, and to help others. Not to demean and destroy, but to build and inspire. To celebrate the people around you and to show them not only how much you celebrate them, but also show them off to the people around them. When you meet individuals or you have someone that you've just met, introduce them to others. Talk highly of them. Let them know that, you, that they are significant and important. One of my favorite sayings is a Hindu saying, and it is, when I help my brother get his boat across the lake, behold, there am I also. When your focus is on building others and building those relationships, you'll get to where you want to go. As you get to where you want to go, you'll realize that you're there with a whole bunch of friends. And with all those friends and family member, you build a successful life. So set a streak. Set a streak to keep your connections alive, to connect with new people every day. Set a streak in, uh, to reestablish friendships that you may have lost. Set a streak to connect with a family member every single day. And when you do, you will find that your life gets much better faster, even on those days when you feel down, depressed, bummed, and just not feeling like doing much of anything. If you look to build that relationship, it will lift you up. Download the Streaking app at Apple App Store or Google Play. Also, the book is available at anywhere books are sold called Streaking. Until we talk again, keep streaking.